people welcome to my youtube channel my name is maya and i'm a registered nurse so this channel talks about gives health information in very simple terms that a lay person can understand if you're interested in this kind of content kindly subscribe if you haven't done so yet okay so this is my very first video on this channel this channel was created created about some months back but i've not yet uploaded any video because of two main reasons i was waiting for a, a phone with a very good camera quality and also for my pimples to clear but it looks like those desires are keeping long in coming so i just said let me just start and the first video i'm doing is about the parts of an iv cannula it's my very first video so um i know i might be a little all over the place kindly bear with me just focus on my very good voice okay Okay, so if you go to a hospital or if you've been to a hospital before, then you know what an IV cannula is. If you're a hair breaker, I'm sure you know. An IV cannula is an intravenous cannula. IV, intravenous cannula. Intravenous means that it's going into your vein. Okay, so usually an IV cannula is put so um, things like intravenous fluids, drugs can be given to you. Okay. The more reason I wanted to do um, um, part of an IV cannula as my first video was because one time I set a line for a patient and after minutes, hours, I was passing the patient's call me and asked whether the needle was still in his vein. And I was like, no, the needle is out. It's just left with the rubber catheter and the patient still couldn't believe that the needle was out. I had to disassemble an, an IV cannula and demonstrate to him that, no, I took the needle out. What is left in your vein is just a plastic cannula. I think that is basic information that everyone that goes to a hospital should know about so that it, it allays your anxiety and also it, like it, it makes you well informed okay so this is an IV cannula okay in intravenous cannula this is a green cannula or a gauge 18 cannula and usually an IV cannula comes in a pack it's sealed it has to be sold everywhere and so that it um, it maintains a sterility when is it sterility so that it's clean enough to enter your body okay so this is where you peel usually the whole thing will peel from you peel like this and then you have the IV cannula okay so this is the IV cannula and it comes like this you see I can touch the ends because it has a cap a plastic cap if not for this plastic cap there is a tip of the needle here which can prick you so if i take off of the cap i can't do that like this this is a tip of a needle which can prick you so this is to protect the health worker from getting pricked and also to ensure that the needle is um, clean like it's, it's kept clean it's like yeah you have a cap that you've covered it's kept clean so this is the plastic cap that's the first part and then we have the plastic catheter I'm not sure if you can see very well okay so there's a plastic catheter and this is the tip of the needle which goes into your vein so for instance you are trying to set a, a line for me this is what the health worker will use to prick you first and then draw back and then um, advance it okay so this is what we call the needle grip you see this was like uh, it's called the needle grip because it controls the needle so with this i can push it in i can pull it back so this is what i have here this is the needle and this is the grip this is the needle grip and this is just the plastic catheter so this is what is in your vein just this plastic catheter is what is in your vein the needle comes out and is discarded okay. so what we have here this 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 part is what we call the um flashback hub this is a flashback hub so when the line is set when the line is set and um, if it's in the vein blood flashes back here into this chamber this is called a flashback hub but this cork see in this way this cork it was it's what it's what keeps the blood from pouring out after the line is set or if the line is not in use so this is a cork and these are the wings of the catheter see 
so these wings after the line is set for instance the line is set for you here so these wings are flattened and then the IV cannula is I'm not sure I've seen working so these wings are flattened and then the IV cannula is secured into your vein so this is what we have the needle is taken out you take the cork out you discard the needle and then this cork is used to close this hub so when the IV cannula is not in use your blood is not flowing out so there's the cork okay, so this is the injection port. so injections can be given to you over here and then this cap is to close it so I'm coming to give an injection I give it through this port when I'm done I close it so that's all basically this is the IV cannula and this is its parts it's as simple as that okay so next time you find a cannula on someone next time you are giving an IV can know that the needle is not in your vein it's just a plastic catheter that is left in your vein and that's it okay so thank you for watching this video I hope that you learned a few things from it if you liked this video kindly give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed and you find this channel interesting subscribe to this channel okay so see you in my next video bye bye